Well, I hope you're praying for all of those in the path of the storm. Uh, the storm is north of us, and uh, it uh, appears that uh, the forecast is for it to scoot down the coast and then come in and come across, which means we could get winds to 35 to 50 mile an hour, uh, both in Simpsonville and in uh, Tryon. So we've decided to stay in Tryon. We have a, a basement here, and we less likely get at tornadoes here. Uh, however, we're probably more likely to lose power here, so uh, it's a trade-off and we're going to be prepared for whatever the case might be. In any case, I uh, hope you're praying for all of the people in the path of the storm. Uh, we feel pretty comfortable that we're going to be able to ride through the storm pretty well. We're going through some of my favorite passages of Scripture, and we started in the book of Revelation, and we're going to go backwards to the book of Genesis. And we find ourselves in 1 Peter right now in chapter 5, and this will be the last uh, one in 1 Peter. Uh, this one is particularly special to me because of uh, uh, when I first uh, saw the significance of it. Uh, it was my very first year in the ministry. As a matter of fact, it was my first three months in the ministry. Uh, I had resigned my position with Drumberg Carlson and had reported to work as Minister of Education and Evangelism for Northwood Baptist Church in West Palm Beach. We were not able to sell our house, and my wife and kids were in Brandon, Florida, trying to sell our house while I was living in a little apartment uh, behind the church, uh, not, a, not a very nice neighborhood. Uh, muggings and shootings and uh, all kinds of nasty things were happening in the alleyway between the church and my little apartment. And uh, my barrier between that evil stuff that was going on was a jealousy drawer. If you don't know what that is, it's small panes of glass uh, that are just held in a little aluminum frame. Easily pull out a panel of that glass, reach in and unlock the door. So most nights I slept with a frying pan jammed in the crack above the door so that if somebody opened the door, the frying pan would fall on the ground and might wake me up so I could defend myself. Well, uh, that's the picture that I had and uh, uh, having resigned my position, I got a phone call from Lois saying that a tornado had touched down in Brandon and taken down half of our fence. And uh, a day or so later, we had another tornado come through and took down the other half of the fence. Uh, the transmission in the car that I was driving went out and it was going to be over a thousand dollars to repair it. And then uh, when I talked to Lois in a day or two further into this uh, time, uh, she had blown out her knee playing tennis and might have to have surgery. And I got on my knees and prayed and said, God, have I made a mistake? Am I misreading your call on my life? Are you trying to tell me to go back to the corporate world? And he spoke to me, uh, not in an audible tone, but uh, certainly much louder than that. And he said, yes, I have called you, but I never promised you that it was going to be easy. And uh, that very night, uh, the pastor of the church, Steve Cloud, uh, preached a message from 1 Peter chapter 5. Let me read to you verses 6 through 10. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you at the proper time casting all of your cares or anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be of sober spirit, be on alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. But resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself perfect, confirm, and strengthen and establish you. And that's exactly what he did. He did exactly that. After I had suffered a little while, the one that called me, the one that protected me, will perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. And he did exactly that. Uh, after that, my ministry was somewhat smoother, and uh, certainly he blessed as I served in Brandon. I hope that that will encourage you if you're going through rough times. That's my thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day. Wireless color.